Oh! <laughs> a human! You heard my humming, did you? <laughs> I guess I was humming a little loud. What is it you're doing here? You were following my voice? Um, well, I'm flattered, I think. But humans are never really allowed in the Mystic Forest. My name? Um, my name is Kiba. Oh, <laughs> I guess you noticed my wings. Yes, I'm a fairy. A wolf fairy. What do I do? Uh, well, I protect wolves in this area of the forest. What is it you are doing here, exactly, other than trying to see where the singing came from? A late night stroll. Huh. I see. Well, it seems to have gotten late, and the forest can get a little dangerous at night. Here, come with me. I can keep you safe for the night, and in the morning, you can head home. As long as you promise one thing. Never tell any other humans that I exist, or that this forest exists. Many humans before have come. And they've destroyed many parts of this forest. They've even killed off other fairies and other magical creatures. Unicorns, sprites, nymphs, even trolls. Myself and other fairies were able to use our power to hide the forest from everyone else. From any other mortal creatures. Animals are able to see us, and they are able to come and go as they please. Humans, on the other hand, it's another story. Have I run into any other humans before? A few, yes. One of whom... was something... different. They were special. But they ended up betraying me. Don't feel sorry for me, or for that human. They got what was coming to them. No. You don't want to know what happened to them. And I do not want to talk about it again. Here we are. This, uh cave is my home. I know it might seem strange to you, but since I am a wolf fairy, I am able to turn my form from, well, humanoid with wings and ears and a tail, to a full-on wolf. Come with me. Don't worry. The cave is quiet. There's nothing else in here but us. Do you have any more questions about me? Where I come from? Well, um... I come from here, as did many other creatures before. The humans before. That was, a uh, That was a different time. Listen. You do sound curious about everything, 
about me. But I'm afraid I'm not able to tell you much. I can't tell you anything, really. Go ahead and get yourself some rest. I will be outside, right by the lake. And once morning comes, you will awake in your own bed. I'm afraid you can't stay. Humans are forbidden in this forest. If you stay any longer, then other fairies and creatures will find you. They will hunt you and they will kill you. Can you see me again? I... I don't know. Listen, just go ahead and sleep. Before sunrise, I will take you home. Good night.